We start our walk at Chertsey Bridge. The current bridge was built in 1783, but on records the bridge is first men mentioned at Chertsey in 1299. From here the walk to Laylam is one and a half miles, and for those wishing to continue along the, the Thames path, a further two and a half miles will take you into Staines. We start our walk with the Kingfisher pub on our right hand side and we follow the path that abuts the road to Laylam. There's no shortage of wildlife along this stretch of the river and there are many plaques illustrating common birds and fauna. It's not long before we come to Leyland Park and here we find a caravanning club facilitating tents as well as caravans which is very popular during the summer months. As you can see from another plaque along the towpath there is an infinite number of different plants and fauna at various times throughout the year. And as we come towards the end of our one and a half mile walk and enter Laylam, you will find just past the rowing clubs facilities for outdoor picnics and there's also a car park there if you just want to wander around Laylam. As we enter Laylam, instead of sticking to the towpath we take the road as it veers to the right will take us, that will take us into the centre of Laylam upon Thames. You will see a street sign for Abbey Drive on your right which refers to the old Laylam Abbey. Continue straight on into town. At the end of Ferry Lane we turn left and head towards the church. All Saints Parish Church is dated back to the 12th century and in this area you'll find lots of listed buildings. Look out for Blacksmith Lane and follow Blacksmith Lane past all the cottages down to the river. At the end of Blacksmith Lane you'll see the signs for the Thames Path again. Here you have the choice either return to our starting point which was Chertsey Bridge as I mentioned one and a half miles away or continue on the Thames path to Staines which is two and a quarter miles.